Mm. Okay, hello everybody, Peter here. I have some interesting colored pencils here. I bought these quite a while ago. Create a color? I'm not sure what the deal is with those. Oh no, crinkly plastic. I might fast forward to. Oh, do you guys like crinkly plastic sounds? I don't really like them. Right, quick cut to when these are unwrapped and done. All right, putting these back in here. Anyways, hello everybody, hope you're all doing well today. I'm gonna do like a real-time drawing video today. Uh, you know, record this, this, the uh, commentary at the same time as the drawing for ya. Um, I guess the cool t thing about these pencils is that there's no, I guess there's no wood in them. 4B, 9B, what's with this one? This one is also 4B, this one is also 4B. HB, 2B, 4B, 2B, this is not 2B, it's 6B, 8B, 9B. This is the softest, darkest, right? This one's purplish, I don't know. I'm not gonna be using this eraser much, I don't think. It's all right, I wanna unwrap it. Got a little sharpener here, that's good. A little bullet. Is this for like holding the pencils? I might start out with the 4B. I mean, it looks pretty cool like that, doesn't it? Just gonna put this, uh, I don't have a lot of space on my desk. Anyways, I've got a little sketchbook here, which I have already, st Sometimes I sketch pencil stuff in here, other stuff. Uh, got a blank page, that's all we need. And we can start, st I just wanna, you know, scribble and stuff. That's all I really wanna do, talk to you. Nothing really matters. Um, yeah, anyways, how's it going? How you doing? I, I, whew, right, just breathe. Man, I, I felt like that felt very ominous. Trying to say something and then not be able to say it, and then just saying, I don't really have anything important to say, but it is. <sighs> important to breathe. I don't really do anything crazy like that, like breathing exercises or anything, but, uh, I mean, not, I mean, it's more than I just did anyways. I wonder if you can do anything crazy like... Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Sometimes artists do crazy things, you know, like sharpening their pencils out to really long points. I wonder where my X-Acto knife is, because I feel like a lot of, uh, you know, artists... I don't know why I'm saying artists like that, but the people who regularly use graphite and pencils uh, you know, they, they sharpen their pencils in very interesting ways. Often with little knives and stuff like that, because when you use a little pencil like this, it, uh, you know, it sharpens it in a very particular way. And, uh, you don't have a lot of options. That's all I'm saying. That's what I've noticed anyways. So you might have noticed I don't use pencil a lot. I'm not sure why. Um, well, obviously the reason why is I like pen. Personal preference. Pencils are great. You can create a lot more different little tones and stuff. Shades, varieties. I mean, you can with pen too. It's just to go about it a different way. But I enjoy switching up a little bit every now and then. I'm not really sure what's going on here right now. But it's not a bad thing. I will tell you, however, I will take the liberty of telling you about something that happened to me the other night. While I was asleep, something happened to me. And, and, as it usually goes, this thing that happened to me while I was asleep was uh, something that happened to me all in my mind. 
But in fact, as I think more about it, I think it might not have been all in my mind. It was a dream, but I think the dream might have been affected by the real world. What happened in this dream was that I had a, a hair growing out of the back of my throat. And uh, it was a very long hair. Maybe the longest hair I've ever had. Uh, I mean, I, and I've had my share of fairly long hairs. You know, I've just cut some of them off recently even. They said when they cut my hair off, I talked to the, you know, I went to a salon to get my hair cut off, first of all. I went to a salon and, um, and you know, of course the, I feel like it's hard to cut a lot of hair off at us anywhere and not, you know, some mention of like locks of love or whatever, you know, donating your hair for wigs and stuff coming up. Uh, I mean, I didn't even really think of that when I went in. I just like, I gotta, I was just caught up in my head. Like I've gotta, gotta cut this stuff off my head. Just want it off, you know, I'm just done. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing, but it was kind of a, more of a spur of the moment thing the day before, and I went in to get my hair cut off the day before, and they were like, uh, actually we don't do walk-ins, you gotta make an appointment. I'm like, okay, so what's the soonest I can get my hair cut off? And they are like, uh, we can do tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I'm like, okay, I think I'll still want to do it then. And I had to still want to do it then, because I had to like give them my credit card info, and, and you know, in case I, canceled without 24 hours notice, but at the time of me making the appointment, it was already less than 24 hours away, so I was pretty much locked in at that point. And so we were talking about donating hair, of course, I mean, the, what's the name, you know, what do you call it, like a hairstylist, a salonist, whatever it is. Do you hear that noise? I think it's my air conditioning. Anyways, so it turns out that they say if you don't, you know, they're Wait a second, let me turn off my air conditioning. Just a second. I feel like that, I should stop in a second. I feel like it would have been a long and extended amount of exceeding uh, wide noise in the background. Is it still there? Shh. Shh. Stop now. I switched it off. Why is it? The machines are... Do I really need this, by the way? Is this supposed to go on the front, maybe? I want to try out this thing. This thing here. Now it's an extendo pencil. I like how it's marbled. I should probably add an eye. Should, okay, there, there went the hair conditioner. Anyway, sorry about that. I apologize. Anyways, so we were mentioning locks of love. Is that really what it's still called? You have to have like seven inches or something. I think they reduce the amount you need these days. Uh, but she's like, well, we actually take all the hair, you know, that people get, that gets cut off and we donate it to some. Right? It goes, I don't know, they, they probably sell it. Uh, but it goes to, it gets, they, she said that my hair goes and gets made into big mats, big rugs, that uh, is used to soak up oil spills. So I felt fine about that, you know? That's not the worst thing that's ever been done with my hair. I'm, I'm not sure what the worst thing that's ever been done with my hair is, but I'm sure it's something worse than that. Sure, I'm sure. I don't really want to think about it too much. I mean, not a lot of things has been done with my hair. I know at least worse than that is me keeping that little that little sprig of my hair in a little box for years. That's useless, you know. At least some of my hair's going to soak up an oil spill so little birds and fish and stuff don't get clogged to death and stuff. I'm enjoying this little drawing so far. Pencil drawings, you know, it's just one of those things I don't do a lot, so I don't I'm not as comfortable. I think that's the main problem. You just you get the more you do something, you just reach some level of comfort, right? And I just don't have that level of comfort, just since I'm not as familiar. I like the variety of how I can get like these, these more smoother tones like this, but I can also get these, these lines like this also, right? I like. 
that variety. Anyway, so yeah, my hair's gonna go suck up oil spills. I mean, maybe. What if there's never another oil spill? What are they gonna do with it then? I mean, I'm sure there is gonna be another oil spill, but if there wasn't, would my hair just sit around? It's kind of what they like. Do they like felt it into mats with other people's hair? It's gonna sit around in a mat in a warehouse forever? Will I get a refund if they never use it? Does it go bad? When I was little, when I was young, my mom cut my hair for most of my life and she would just throw it out in the garden as fertilizer. I'm gonna take this off, it's a little weird. It's a little, it's a little back heavy. I do like it though. I'm gonna put this one back on there though, just cause I like it. I bought these a long time ago, like maybe a year. I've got some cold brew coffee here, sipping. Slurping. Mm-hmm. Oh, where's my coaster? There we go. This is kind of an eye. Oh, so I know I was telling you about my dream. Oh yeah, so I was having this dream. <sighs> Where I had this hair going out of the back of my throat. Way, way back. Back past my tonsils. Back past my uvula. Way back in the back of my throat. Uh, you know, like where the food hits when you swallow stuff. And, uh, but the hair, it was uh, not just hanging out there, it was coming out of my mouth. Which wasn't the most annoying thing. But it was like, it was like coming out here, right? Out of here. And I was like hanging on to it. And I was like wrapping it around my hand. Like, you ever do that with floss? When you're flossing, you like have it like wrapped around. And you're like flossing. I was doing that. And, uh... Well, I was yanking on it. I was trying to pull it out. You're, do you ever get those like long eyelash kind of hairs growing out of your moles. Maybe you're like a perfect person. You have flawless skin and you don't have moles, you don't have any weirdly thick hairs growing out of your moles, but I do sometimes and I get great pleasure from pulling those hairs out. And this is kind of like one of those, I guess, but much longer and coming from the middle, the back of my throat, right there, smack dab in the center, just implanted right there. And I was just yanking on it and pulling on it, and it would just not, I could not get it out of the back of my throat. I felt like I was dreaming about this all night. There was something else in this dream. I mean, there was like more to it somehow, but I'm just not sure what it was. Like, I just can't remember. I have a hard time remembering my dreams, in fact. I am surprised I remember it even this much, to be honest. Doing a little bit of shading here, maybe. My hand, you can see I'm already getting it on my hand here. Should I zoom in a little bit? Sorry, can you guys see what's going on, even? I couldn't get it out of the back of my throat. I could not. Yanking and pulling, and I could feel it. You know, like I could feel it hanging on there, like, like I was pulling on a hair, but it just wasn't coming out. And uh, I mean, I woke up eventually at the end of the night. I think this was actually two nights ago. Last night I didn't sleep good at all, but this was two nights ago. I slept fine despite this weird dream. And uh, but I woke up and I was very, no, I, I woke up and I started like, fully awake, I started feeling around my mouth trying to see if this hair was actually there, as if I could actually have a hair growing out of the back of my throat. Uh, but it wasn't, of course. And I was very disappointed that I never got the satisfaction, satisfaction of actually yanking it, you know? Cause that would have been so satisfying. Like that's the most satisfying thing is getting one of those hairs out of one of your moles. And what I think it was, the reason why I had this dream is because I, I think I just had like a slight, like a tiny little scratch in my throat, like a little bit of a sore throat. Like I just need like a little sip of water, like a, just a little scratchy, little sore throat. Just need, and I think that's where it all kind of came from, you know. I think that's what it was. A little scratchy sore throat and then somehow my brain turned it into me yanking on a hair at the back of my throat because it kind of feels the same way I don't know really bizarre though why are dreams so weird 
Why is this drawing so weird? My pencil drawings always turn into these weird levels, these weird, uh, kind of, you know, like, I just kind of layer up weird scales like this. I don't know why my pencil drawings always do this. They're always, whenever I switch mediums, you know, switch between, you know, like pencil, ink, paint, you know, like my paints, my paintings always kind of turn out the same way. My pencil drawings always turn out the same way. My ink drawings always turn out the same way, but they're always very different. But each medium kind of has their own look for some reason. Not sure why. Man, I'm, being, I'm going very fast and sketchy with this, which you know, I like that about pencils, but obviously it could change drastically if I slowed down like I did with the, with the pens. Also, I, I haven't switched pencil hardnesses at all yet. Like I could, the 9B over here, is this the softest one? Let's see, 9B. Does this make it darker? Darker lines. Yeah, these are much darker. Kind of snug some shadows in there. Maybe this whole area. Couldn't hurt. This looks like, I don't know what it looks like. Whatever you, look, if you sit down and make something like this, or like anything really, and you're like, ugh, why does this look this way? Why, I don't like it. And you'll get a little bit exasperated. Whatever you make, I am convinced it's better than making nothing at all. A thousand times better, infinitely better. If the alternative is just sitting around, you know, doing nothing, or, you know, watching Netflix or playing video games or something, where at the end of an hour or something you have, like, nothing to show for it except a high score or you're on season two. I mean, that stuff's good. It's good to have downtime. It's good to recharge. But I've got to admit, I think... Even a drawing, a, a quote-unquote bad drawing, a drawing you're unhappy with, has got to be better in the long run. It's got to be. So I, I kind of, I guess I kind of encourage myself that way. Because I make tons of drawings I'm not happy with. We can make some stuff kind of wisping off this way. And I watch a lot of Netflix, and not just Netflix, you know, Hulu, uh, you know, Amazon Prime, all that stuff, because I sit around, like, editing videos a lot and stuff like that, or, or just not even editing videos, just sitting around watching it. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to bash anyone for, for downtime. I've got plenty of that. All the time, dude, my, my, one of my biggest problems is I, you know, when I'm in the shower, when I'm falling asleep in bed, when I'm walking, when I'm doing pretty much anything but drawing, even when I'm, you know, working on something else that's all, you know, maybe related to my YouTube channel or something, and I'm thinking about, ooh, something I want to draw, like a video I want to work on, something I want to make, you know, I think of all these cool ideas I want to work on, but then once I have the actual time to work on when I have the chance to sit down and draw and make a video, when I have the chance to sit down and make some art, suddenly all these great ideas and motivations kind of like fade away so often, you know? That's not uncommon. That could happen to anyone. I'm like, what? Where did it all go? So For some reason, that's the most frustrating thing, right? The best ideas come to you when you can't act on them, and then when you can act on them, they seem like awful ideas. They seem like they're not worth the effort and the time. Might as well. Might as well just go back to doing nothing. 
Why do we even bother, right? We're so, I feel like I'm just so good at talking myself out of things. But every now and then, talk myself into something. And I'm happy for that. I haven't sharpened this pencil yet. Maybe I don't, I'll never have to sharpen it. If I draw on the edge a little bit, then it'll naturally sharpen it by... drawing on the edge, you know? This little wispy trail down here. I just up uploaded a video critiquing, critique, or well, not that good at critiquing, but reviewing some of your your art that you submitted on Twitter. Uh, so you know, as always, feel free to review my art as much as you want. This one, I would say, doesn't have a whole lot going for it. Like, what? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I would say if someone submitted this one. I would be like, um, I don't know. It looks cool. I like these little spots in here where you worked in the shadows. I like the lumpy shapes. I don't know. Maybe work on a background. Maybe take your time with it. It's a little too sketchy and sloppy. You know, just take your time with it. Probably say something like <laughs> Probably say something like that. I don't know, those videos are difficult for me. I'm not really qu quite sure what's what to say or something. But I am happy if people uh, want to share their art. It's good. It's good to share your art. Just put it out there. Just put it out there. Even if you know nobody sees it, one person sees it, nobody says anything. I don't know. It's difficult sometimes. Art's a weird thing. It's a really weird thing. I like this little, it looks like a, a pearl right there. I like that part of it. Like some darker lines kind of curving around here. If I make some lines like this, it'll kind of give it a... It kind of looks like wrinkles. I was trying to give it some kind of... Hinting at like a... Curves or contours, you know? The shadows do help kind of give it a little bit of body and shape. Which is good. Also, good news, I've been to one guitar lesson so far. And I'm going to one more today. Uh, let's see what time is it. It's 2.47 p.m. right now. I'm looking at the clock. I have another one in one hour and 13 minutes from now. Half an hour lesson, you know? The half hour goes by fast. So that'll, that'll be my second lesson. Give me a year and maybe I'll know how to play a song. I don't know, I've never really taken... I never. I've taken some, you know, like... In, in middle school, I played I played the clarinet, I played the clarinet in band, and I was first chair clarinet, right? I was pretty much the best clarinet player in the whole school, which wasn't saying a lot, because I think I was pretty much the only clarinet besides, the, the only person in the whole band, maybe, besides second chair clarinet that even played clarinet, that practiced outside out of, you know, practiced outside of school. Everyone else left their, left their instruments at school, never even took them home, you know, so it wasn't, it wasn't a lot of, uh, Weren't a lot of other contenders there. Uh, and then my parents at one point even signed me up for clarinet lessons. I don't know, it was kind of weird. Like, I don't know, I never really had like some dream to be some clarinet virtuoso. But now, on my own accord, I've signed up for guitar lessons, which I think is better, because it's a little tough one, you know, like your parents are kind of willing things upon you. Like my parent, my mom tried to teach me some piano when I was younger, which I wish I had taken a bigger, better advantage of, you know, but you're, you always kind of 
fight against it or resent it a little bit when your parents are like, hey, learn this, learn that. You're like, oh, I want to go, I want to go play video games. I want to go play with Legos. You know, I want to go run around outside sort of thing. You want to do anything else but whatever your parents want you to do. But now, thankfully, you know, I'm trying to make some good decisions, you know, learn some things. 28 years old. You know, I walked out of my first guitar lesson and then like some 14 year old kid walked in after me for his guitar lesson. I'm like, I should have been doing that. Well, I guess I was, except I was doing clarinet. Still, life is weird. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I've learned so far. Life is weird. I mean, I still learned good, le you know, good skills that helped me. Uh, you know, my time in in band and clarinet and stuff, because you know I learned how to like read music, some some of the very basics and stuff that probably helped jumpstart me for learning guitar and stuff. Like the guitar guy, you know, he doesn't have to teach me how to read music and stuff. So that's good. One day, you know, maybe maybe I'll be like a, a folk singer. That's what I want. Folk singer, indie, maybe indie music. That'd be pretty dope. I gotta, I really want to figure out how to like write my own music. I don't really know how to like compose music, I, but I feel like that's far down the line. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I just don't know enough about it. I just don't know. Can I make some sort of like misty background here? I feel like I have to be really gentle. Maybe I want to make something... This is like some weird alien head floating in the background. I want to make another orb kind of floating out here behind it. Maybe another blob right here. I want a lot of orbs up here. Blobs on the front, okay. The light is kind of coming in from here, which is kind of standard for my drawings. The light coming in from the upper right side. This is kind of my default lighting situation. So that means it should be dark. Things should be darkest down here on the bottom. There's probably some, you know, you learn about, if you ever take any like basic art lessons, you know how to shade things. I feel like you learn about like reflected light and stuff. So maybe things, I don't know. I don't remember how things, you know, and it depends how shiny something is. It's how much it reflects things. I don't know. You get to decide if you're drawing something totally fake like this. Is this a shiny thing? Is it more matte? Is it satin? Who knows? Do you like the sound of the pencil? I kind of like the pencil when it's a little bit dull, to be honest. You get different lines. Do a little bit of shading right there, a little bit right there. Some darker stuff behind it. A little, no little like nodule thing, a little nodule here. I feel like pencils just look, pencils just look good in your hand, right? I feel like a pencil is very, very becoming of a hand. A good a good compliment to any hand. Some people hold pencils weird, you know? I hold a pencil like this, which I feel like is a very classic grip. You know, some people go more like this, which uh, is a little bit unorthodox. Uh, and, you know, teachers, you know, in you know, first, second, kindergarten, whatever, you know, they'll try not to, they'll try to get you to not hold it like that sometimes. They'll give you like a special grip, you know, to try to get you to go back to this. Uh, but, you know, if you can get it done like this, get it done like that. You can hold it you can fist it for all you can, for all I care and go for it. Go for it. I, I, I like little tendrils like this. Tendril it up. A little feelers coming out of here, maybe. Yeah. Not everything has to be completely connected. 
me get another sip of this cold brew. I buy the cold brew by the by the jug at the grocery store. Now I think it's not that difficult to make it myself, but uh, I think it takes like 24 hours to brew, and I just don't have that level of forth forethought and foresight and planning. You know, if I want something, I want it then, and if I want something in a whole day, I can't think about a whole day from now. I don't know unless I can make like 10 gallons of it at a time, then I might do it. Can I make 10 gallons of cold brew at a time? Maybe at least two gallons. Can I make a? Can I make even a gallon of cold brew at a time? I don't know, because that would last me quite a while. A gallon, I think it would, especially since they say cold brew is pretty um, potent, right? This, let me grab the darker one. I want to make like a tendril coming out from here, from in this little crack, and maybe another one right here. Almost looks like little blood squirts or something. Let me zoom in. Sorry, I feel like I'm too zoomed out this whole time. You guys been squinting and staring. Here, I can't see. Should this be darker? Fancy woodless pencils draw just like regular pencils. I feel like that's what I've, that's the conclusion I've come to. That's it, that's it. I was suckered in, I was suckered in by the allure, by the novelty. But I mean, I still like them. They're definitely not worse than regular wooden pencils. They, they probably cost a lot more, I don't remember. I, should, I could just look it up. Cut my Amazon orders. This reminds me of a whale's teeth. This part here. The, the little weird gri grill they have for eating krill through. The krill grill. Huh. Accidentally made these little textures here. I kind of look at. Oh, it reminds me of a carrot. I don't like how those line up, though. Hmm. Also, the weird thing about pencil sometimes is it gets kind of shady. I mean, not shady, but shiny, you know what I mean? Like I'm like moving back and forth, looking at different ways, and there's like a weird glare on the, especially where you, areas where you lay it on really thick. Sometimes the light glares off it weird, and it's kind of annoying. I kind of like, kind of like it so far. I wish I could make it, well, uh, let me get the, the lightest pencil here. The, the HB is the lightest here. So it goes, this is the 9B and then it goes up after HB. What is it? There's like an F in there in the middle somewhere, right? And then it starts going up to the H's like 2H. That's the standard number two pencil, right? 2H or is it 2B? I feel like 2H is the standard. If I get, I wonder if I can get it kind of smoky in here if I go real kind of gentle and easy. I kind of want a smoky undercarriage. I don't know if I want to take this much time with it though, since it's kind of a. Now I'm going to go back to this to 4B. Forget about it. Not for this sketch. Maybe later I'll mess around with going real careful with the. Or harder lead. You know, I'm fine. I'm fine with calling graphite, graphite pencils lead pencils. You know, I call, call it lead all day. I know it's not lead. It doesn't bother me at all. Call it lead. More people will get upset by it, the better. If you say, hey, the lead in my pencil broke, or hey, I'm drawing with lead pencils today, every single person in the world knows what you're talking about. And if there's someone pedantic out there getting upset by it, that's fine. 
Now, I'll tell you, there are plenty of other things that I get pedantic about that I would get upset by and try to correct you on. Uh, but this just doesn't happen to be one of them. So, I mean, I just choose my battles poorly sometimes. But I do choose them. Also, I have no idea what I'm doing with this weird little smoke plumes. This is the kind of thing that, this is, this is what I call a Netflix activity, practicing these little, these really light gradients. It's not going well right now. It's not going disastrously, but it's not going great either. It might, you know, this is the type of thing that might help to go, you know, like this a little bit. If, if you can see too many of the actual pencil strokes. But then it looks almost, it's obvious you blurred it with your pen or something. I mean, your finger. I just call this my pen, my finger. Going art crazy. Confusing my body with my art supplies. not turning out how I was imagining at all. I'm not really sure what I was imagining. I was imagining something very uh, vague, which wasn't very helpful when you're, I don't know. It's pretty helpful when you're just doodling, but I mean, I'm still moving forward, so. I'm sure there's a million and one YouTube tutorials about how to draw with pencils, if I really wanted to get some specific instruction. But I don't. For some reason, I cannot stand YouTube tutorials. They're one of my least favorite things. Something about how you're stuck learning at the other person's pace. You know, like at least if I have like a textbook or like a, like a, like a web page, you know, like a wiki how or something, at least I can scroll through it at my pace. You know, I can control F. You know, find something, uh, but with like a YouTube tutorial, the most you can do is skip around, hope they're saying what you need them to say. You gotta wait through their intro. If you don't skip that, uh, you gotta. The most you can do maybe is put it on two x speed. Sometimes they never say what you want them to say. They just end up saying a bunch of other nonsense. I don't know. It's just like torture to me. Obviously, they can very often be very helpful, but they're just like a pet peeve of mine for some reason. I mean, this is looking okay. Get my finger creases in there, into the paper. Someone really, though, Oh, sorry, that was probably really loud. Um, tell me why I have two four Bs. <gasps> wait a second, this one, wait a second. This one has a brush on it. Brush. Maybe this is like a watercolor thing or something. They both say four B. This one's purplish. The only difference is, this one has a brush thing on it, and this one says 20404, and this one says 20504. Should I try you? No, I don't want to. I'll try it up here. My hand is full. I'm juggling pencils. They look pretty similar, but I think it must be that you can, you're can. you supposed to use it with uh, water or something, I don't know. Maybe if I had like my little water brush around here, I could experiment a little bit with it. I'll look into it for a different video, maybe. You can do stippling with a pencil. I know you can. I've seen people do it. It looks sweet. I'm not going to really do it here. 
Huh. Do people do like a little dot like this, or do they just go like this? I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, this looks oak. I mean, it's... I try not to crap on all of my own drawings immediately. Not like first thing is, I try not to immediately say, oh, it's trash, you know. At least try to wait a day before coming back and crap out, you know. Wait till I have fresh eyes. Oh no, I'm adding clouds again. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Sure, if I just you know mess around with pencils some more, yeah, I would. You kind of like just like how doodling. I have like a like I have like a little arsenal of little tips and tricks and shapes and tones and patterns and lines. I kind of re recycle and reuse in different ways and mix other things into the mix. I'm sure if I mess around with pencil a little more, I would, the kind of the same thing would happen, right? I'm kind of working from scratch here at the moment. Can you guys hear the pencil? I don't know how good the mic is right now. I have been having a kind of weird audio problems lately. Like, I don't know, I, I've been mixing up my audio set, set, set up lately. So I've been still kind of messing around with getting it right so there's not like a lot of white noise in the background. Let me know how it's been for you. Like if it's been okay to listen to. I want it to be the best, you know? I want it to be really good and good to listen to. So let me know if you have any advice or feedback on that. I don't want it to be like a lot of bad sounds in the background and stuff like that. Anyways, should I darken it up on the bottom here somewhere? Kind of leaning back a little bit and looking. I feel like a lot of this should be darker, but I don't want to I'm gonna stand up. I'm standing up and drawing now. Wait, let me switch to the dark one. HB, 9B. Like I want it to look like it's an actual you know, like 3D blob in physical space. It's kind of hard to achieve sometimes. Make it look like some of these lumps are kind of tucked inside other lumps. It can take a lot of finagling. Maybe I should get that, that, that uh, rubber, what's that called, this, that rubber eraser back and like, Make some little highlights on stuff. I don't know if this paper is good for that. Some you ever had that some of that paper you try erasing stuff on it and it just the paper just disintegrates. Hate that stuff. The kneaded rubber eraser, that's what it's called. I need the kneaded rubber. I feel like I'm dangerously close to, you know, I could be reaching that point now where I could easily um, over overdraw it, you know? I mean, there's not a whole lot to this right now, but even so, I could go too far. I mean, no, what, this isn't really anything, but it could still be too much. There's nothing right here. I'm still standing up, by the way. I'm hunched over in a very weird way. Lifting with my knees. I have two knees, only one back. You know what they say. This looks like a, this looks like a, it's all fine. Should I make this one into a diagram too? I'm like addicted to making things into diagrams. 
I have to. I have to, okay? Forgive me. Okay? Um, <clears throat> let's see here. I mean, we have to explain what's going on here, don't we? <clears throat> this part, this is a I'm, a, I'm a very addicted to these weird little letters right now. But it, as long as it's all sufficiently explained to someone, whoever can read this stuff, they'll understand, right? And then this thing and this thing. Look at these all arrows. And this thing. That wasn't really a straight line, was it? This is a and a as far as they, so much to say, out in the court for to say. Oh, my stomach is growling. And then down under here, Well, it's not a very smooth line. This this is a fresh pencil. I haven't used this yet, but it's quickly getting dull. Probably because I'm drawing so heavily with it. Is it all making sense now? I hope so. I'm here for a general sense of edification for everybody. And then down here, we can say, just kind of a general explanation of the undercarriage. And then I like, look, I like these little scribbly lines as much as any other scribbly line I write or draw. Sometimes I just want to write things, but I don't really have anything to say, I think is the main problem. <laughs> A chronic lack of things to say has not stopped me. Question mark. There we go. And uh, it's not too late to add some shading where you think you need it. I got a little title up here. Oops, sorry. I don't know why I didn't just fold this over backwards at the beginning. Uh, let's see. 
The title of this project is the and that yeah nine three four point four four nine point nine zero 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 point three Okay, there we go. One more little note up here saying that should not be under or for any circumstance or any reason under pain of death. This looked to be an exclamation point, but kind of got merged together, it's fine. I like it. I like it. What do you guys think? I know you're looking at an angle here, so more straight on. I, have, I usually have the camera up at an angle so my hand isn't covering up what I'm working on. This fun little pencil project. One more look. Here's the pencils I was using, if you're curious. I mean, they're pretty cool, but I don't know if they're really better than regular pencils. It seems more or less like a gimmick. But if you're really into pencils, you probably know if you really need these or not already. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. I had a good time chatting with you. Even though none of you said anything back yet, I'm sure you will. Um, yeah. All right. See y'all later. <laughs>